Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is the tired old HP system I picked up last week. It originally featured an AM2 CPU, generic HP power supply and onboard graphics. Since then it's had a small budget spent on it to transform it into a basic gaming machine. And I think it represents a great way of giving your old home or office hardware a nice upgrade without breaking the bank. So let's get a look inside before seeing what it can do. Now it was a bit of a uh, cheat move here but I had to use my Corsair CX 550M to power this machine. I did buy a cheap power supply on eBay but it arrived and it didn't work and I'd already been waiting over a week for it to arrive which is a little disappointing but it is the risk that you sometimes take with used parts unfortunately. The motherboard has also been replaced with an ASRock N68 FX board. I bought two of these recently, one local and one in an online auction because I think they're excellent and support AM2, AM2+, AM3 and AM3 Plus CPUs as well as DDR2 and DDR3 memory. So having a second one will definitely be handy for future tests and builds. The local one I paid a lot more for but this auction one was pretty well priced. I then added 8GB of DDR3 memory to this setup as well as a cryo rig heatsink that was given to me by a friend a while back. This calls the 4.2 GHz overclocked FX4100 CPU that I picked up for a very low price on eBay. Add to that a cheap 500 gig used hard drive and a Radeon HD5850 Extreme Edition graphics card and I was ready to test it out. Fun fact, this GPU released two years after the original HD5850 as a rebranded and cheaper version of the same card. The budget sleeper machine here won't satisfy everyone's aesthetic preferences but I like the way it's deceptive. Oh look at your awful HP office machine people will say. Before I fire it up and race through the streets of Los Santos with a smooth 50 fps. While we are on the subject, let's roll some benchmarks and see what else this thing can do. Now this won't be able to handle all the latest games out there and one such limiting factor is the 1GB of VRAM for the 5850, though for the price I just couldn't let this card slip away. As you can see in some games like Fortnite here, the 0.1% low was pretty well 
low, indicating some stutter. In the areas I frequented, i.e. out-of-town zones, this wasn't too bad or noticeable, though the frame rate will drop in busier areas or during tense fights. Witcher 3 also stuttered here and there, once again, not only due to the VRAM, but the fact that this card bottlenecked our overclocked FX4100, although this wasn't always the case. That being said, most of today's tested titles ran problem-free, and while this isn't going to be an ideal solution for those of you wanting to play newer and upcoming releases, a system like this is a cheap gateway to the world of PC gaming and still offers room for upgrade a little later down the line, and it's also a fun way of putting a little life back into an old office setup. So guys, there we have it. This definitely isn't the best or greatest value for money PC I've ever built, but I feel it's a great way of representing what can be done with an old cheap system like this, as opposed to just throwing it out or handing it over to someone else or even selling it. So I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. It's been a while since I've put together a budget PC. I will be putting together a budget PC with new parts very soon, so stay tuned for that as well. And as always, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.